Welcome back. We got a group of North Texas students gearing up right now to represent our state in a very unique global competition. They got a solar powered car that will soon go up against teams from all around the world in Australia. Our Caroline Vandergriff went to Greenville High School to see how they're getting ready for what is going to be an epic adventure. 15 year old Ethan Kiowski doesn't even have a driver's license. Not yet, but he's helped build this entire car from start to finish with the Greenville High School solar car team. It's really cool to see a project like that come together and go from the drawing board and the CAD to then the mold getting printed and then the body and it's just and now it's here on the road ready to go. And Ethan's getting ready to drive it nearly 2000 miles across Australia. It's fun. It is. It can also be scary at times. This car will compete against teams from universities around the globe in the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. We are the only high school team from the United States that will be competing. They'll travel the outback in vehicles powered only by the energy of the sun, driving by day and camping in the desert at night in a race to the finish line. It seriously is a one in a uh, lifetime thing. I'm going to be able to tell my kids that I went to Australia as a high schooler and competed in a solar car race. Greenville is hoping for a top 10 finish, but 16 year old Kinley Myers says no matter how the competition goes, she's gained invaluable experience. I've learned so much about myself and how to handle other people because no, you're not gonna get along with everybody and you're not gonna like everybody. But being able to work with them is something that you're going to need in the real world always. Their teachers say lessons in teamwork, problem solving and creativity it makes you learn to adapt to anything that you have to do. We'll set the kids up for success in whatever career they pursue. Six months ago, this car didn't exist. This is a testament to how hard these students have worked. And they can't wait to put that hard work to the ultimate test on a global stage. We're going to come out and we're going to show that even as 15 and 16 year olds, like we can build something just as great. In Greenville, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas.